So we live in a world with raincoats, but no rain. Somebody explain that to me. that fits right into this question from the Royal Lions. What are your thoughts on dynamic weather? Snow, thunderstorms, falls again under something we really want. <laughs> that is a really giant feature. I know it doesn't sound like it to some people, but it really is. Let me assure you, touch 5,000 systems we have yeah. going on, but we agree that would be really cool. Like, Absolutely. Whenever, whenever <laughs> we, we play a game here that has these kinds of systems, a lot of what, what, what our artists are doing is they're going around and they're looking at what are all the little tiny things that it affects. If it's raining in Red Dead Redemption 2, like how many puddles appear in the terrain that were not there before? And that meant that, uh, you know, a design, I mean, uh, an artist had to go through and add every single one of those puddles and had to decide which surfaces are shiny and which ones are not shiny in the rain. And let me also reinforce. Their team was, what, seven times bigger than our team? Oh, they, they, <laughs> I just I, want to please put that out on the internet and remind I, people I that. Counted. They have so more tired. people who are on their like facility security credits than we have as our entire studio. <laughs> so Just, I mean, just people watching the doors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people like yeah checking badges at the door. But we're a scrappy team, and you we guys are. like that, right? <laughs> <laughs> we I mean, have... We've always been the the little studio that that wanted to be big, that played big, mm -hmm. um, and you know it's obviously shows in in a few areas where we just couldn't execute because we didn't have the bodies to put towards yeah. the problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Uzi nine millimeter is is like finally they talked about dynamic weather because <laughs> we get the question all the time. And so a lot of the time we just let it go, let it just fly by because right. we've already answered it so many times and I love glass, told you how much we love it. I love glass babies saying it rains blood in my games cuz I rock. <laughs> <laughs> Who That's needs a, rain yeah. when heads are exploding Making left it rain. and right? Uh, I also saw some people asking earlier about uh, snow and rain and weather effects. Oh yeah. Um, it's actually a funny thing. Uh, we, I actually asked our audio team, like, hey, what if we just added, you know, like, rain? And the audio team was like, okay, do you want to pay us to re-record every single sound as wet? <laughs> and then you want to spend all the memory to load all the wet sounds and then transition to wet to dry? And I was like, uh, maybe. 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 Can, can we cost it out? Uh, so that's, that's definitely on the scales of balance of uh, yeah. product, versus, uh, product versus business. Um, uh, I mean, I think it would be cool, but uh, you know, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of invisible work. It's not just like oh, turn on the snow or oh, turn on the rain. Like, it, we want to keep a certain level of fidelity in the product, yeah. uh, and so there's there's there are challenges there. So uh, we got we got the question, by the way, uh, as we always get about uh, weather, about whether we can get uh, rain or snow, especially around the holiday season, um, into the game. And I forgot, I didn't see. Oh, it's Michael Burke asked that question. Um, and so we we answer the question a lot actually, because you know a lot of people they get they get into our game and they and they feel like one of the experiences they want to have in the zombie apocalypse is to you know is inclement weather. Is you you're spending a lot of your life outside. <laughs> And, uh, and and you sort of want to feel that, um, and there's there's a lot of technical hurdles in the way of us being able to do that. A big part of it just being, you know, the fact that we're trying to 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 author this world to a high level of fidelity and things like you know, rain doesn't just affect, isn't just an effect in the air and an effect in the sky. It gets everything wet, and games that do a really good job of rain, they pour a lot of effort into making that <coughs> super high fidelity and really making it work. Yes, um, they do. And so we would want to match that level of fidelity, but that means it would be a huge, huge effort uh, uh, to make it happen, which is one of the main, and, and there's lots of, you know, every time we talk about it, there's like different wrinkles to this, different reasons why um, it can be a challenge. Uh, we're actually thinking maybe we should put like, like sort of a, uh, an answer on our frequently asked questions um, at support.stateofdecay.com because it's such a frequent request that we get from people. Um, Let's get rid of the 22. But yeah, so that's, that's kind of the rundown on it, yeah.
Uh, some folks ask, uh, is this because, you know, this is in the Pacific Northwest, are we adding rain and weather to the game? Um, no. We're getting, getting mist. <laughs> mist is your weather. Mist but, is as close as we can get. Yeah, sorry, um, weather, weather was not, you know, was not the thing we were able to tackle this, this particular time, and uh, it's kind of, you know, it's one of those things where it, it's, it's just kind of been a tall order from the beginning. We've always had to say, apologetically, no, uh, we don't think that weather, weather changes are likely to make it into the game, but... Uh, Camp Appreciate Winchester. your interest.